Let's go through nine common issues you may encounter while using Affinity Photo. Your clipping mask is not working. When you have a curve object and want to apply this as a clipping mask, sometimes it doesn't work. First common mistake is that you add the curve as a clipped child instead of a clipping mask. This way, the curve object becomes part of the layer. To make it a clipping mask, make sure you drag and drop the curve object on the icon of the layer in the Layers panel. When the curves object is applied as a clipping layer, a tiny mask icon will be shown next to it in the Layers panel. Another reason why clipping might not work is because of transparency. If the curve object has zero opacity or has a color fill with zero opacity, it will not clip. The final place you can check the opacity is the fill opacity value that can be found in the effects panel or in the blend options. If the curve object still does not clip as expected, you could finally check the blend mode. If the blend mode is set to erase, it does not clip, so make sure it is set to any other blend mode than erase. You created a mask and want to paint out the unwanted areas using a brush. However, the brush acts not as expected. One common issue is that the opacity or the flow of your brush is zero or very low. Affinity Photo has a feature that when you press on a number on your keyboard while the brush tool is selected, it will change the brush opacity. If you accidentally pressed your keyboard, your brush opacity might have changed without noticing. Another feature of Affinity that works against you in this case is that Affinity remembers your last brush settings, which also includes the brush blend mode. If you used a different blend mode for your brush earlier, don't forget to change the brush blend mode back to normal when masking. This also applies for the wet edges and the Protect Alpha checkboxes. When you are painting with the brush on your mask, always make sure to turn off these two checkboxes. What also sometimes happens is that your brush has color, which is not ideal for a mask. Use black or white while masking. The next issue happens quite often to me. You can use the B key to enable the brush tool. However, if you use any other brush tool during a session, for example the Paint Mixer brush, the B key will toggle between the regular brush tool and the Paint Mixer brush tool. So after enabling the brush tool with the B keyboard shortcut, double check if the regular brush tool is selected. The other brush tools might not act as you expect. Finally, there could be one other not so common issue. You might have a selection and your marching ends indicating the selection are hidden. The marching ends can be turned on and off from the view menu under the show pixel selection. If you have a shortcut, you could have accidentally turned off the marching ends. When you have a selection, Affinity will only paint in the selection. So if your paint strokes have no effect, it might be that you have a selection you are not seeing. A quick fix is to press the command D to deselect the selection or turn on the marching end so you can see your selection. You're using the selection brush tool, but it does not snap. A possible reason would be that you do not have the correct layer selected. A better alternative is to make sure the All Layers checkbox is selected in the toolbar. If you have the correct layer selected or the All Layers checkbox is checked and the selection brush tool still does not snap the edges, you might need to double check the Snap to Edges checkbox. You have a layer, but somehow it does not show up. This can happen if you accidentally lower the opacity. When you press a number while the Move tool is selected, Affinity will change the opacity. Setting back the opacity to 100% will probably fix the issue. If you modified the blend ranges, double check the blend ranges and the fill value. Also double check the channel blend ranges. Unfortunately, you cannot see from the master channel if a blend range of a color channel has been changed. And obviously, make sure the layer is enabled. 
the canvas is rotated. You want to reset the rotation. If you accidentally change the rotation of the canvas with the mouse pad, for example, you can easily reset it from the view menu. You have lost all your panels and the toolbar. This can happen if you accidentally press the tab button. The tab button is a toggle to hide or show the UI. Pressing the tab button again will bring back the UI elements. You accidentally changed the size of an image layer, but now you want it back to the original size. If you have resized an imported image layer, you can use the Move tool and from the toolbar, click on the details and press Restore to Original Size. The child layers are not moving with the parent layer. If you have a layer with child layers, it can happen that the child layers do not move with the parent layer. You probably turned on the Lock Children checkbox. You can turn this off by selecting the Move tool and in the toolbar disabling the Lock Children checkbox. Now the child layer will move along with its parent. You press Command or Ctrl J while a group is selected, but nothing is added to the layers panel. This is probably due to the fact that you collapsed the group. It might look in the layers panel that the group is selected, but actually that is not the case. Probably a layer in the group is still selected and that layer gets duplicated in the group. Because the group is collapsed, it looks like nothing has been duplicated. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please share in the comments any issues you have encountered yourself. Thanks again for tuning in and until the next video.